Hey YouTube, it's Audrey, and I'm back with a video of a design team project for the Cutting Cafe. This week we use the card in a box file and the card in a box embellishment files. Both can be found on the Cutting Cafe and I will have the links below. But it is design team project time. We do it two times a week now, unlike we used to when we used to do four times a week. So if you've been looking for it, that's what the situation is. We've changed and we post now on the 7th and the 21st. So make sure that on those two dates, you head on over to the Cutting Cafe and watch all of or see all the projects that the design team will do and then leave a comment and you will be eligible to win a set of three files from the Cutting Cafe during the drawing the next posting. So anyway, we were using the card in a box file and this is very popular right now. Um, it is also considered or called a um, pop-up box card and I actually did a tutorial, which I will link that below for those of you who need that. And it's also on the Cutting Cafe's website. But they're really very easy to make. And although they look extremely complicated in some instances, really they're not. And you can do as much or as little as you want. And with the file, it is a basic box. And it comes on two sizes, a large and a small and then Regina has a lot of embellishments. Their stars, their hearts, their pieces of candy, Christmas trees, snowflakes, things like that. So there's even a wine glass. So I was thinking of making a cute um, wine thank you card and a wine gift for a friend. So that will come in handy. But they're really easy to do and they pack a big punch. And for this one, I decided to make one for my dad because I made one for my mother for Mother's Day. So he liked it. So I decided to make him one for Father's Day. So I used um, some old paper that I had from Hobby Lobby. I think it's called a memory stack. And that's what the pattern paper is from. And then I used a really thick cardstock in blue for um, the base and I think it was a basil piece so I have used the hearts and the stars from the embellishment pieces or the embellishment file and then I um, kind of ate the edges just a little bit and then I found various stickers that I had um, like the one in the front says the best and the green and then there's one that says daddy the blue ribbon there says dad that ribbon up there says your number one. And then I actually use another cutting cafe file called Tyrific Dad or for my Tyrific Dad, I believe is the name of it. And I'll leave that link below too. But um, the sentiments came from there. And they say, for my Tyrific Dad, happy, happy Father's Day. And I just printed that out on the colored paper. Um, and I used a Spellbinders die to cut that out and emboss it. And then I had a 3D um, tie sticker that I added on there. Here is a side view. And you can see the pieces are standing up in there. And there are braces that you put the pieces on that stand up. I added a series of little enamel stars on both sides just for a little something on there they match the colors not sure if i'm totally crazy about that um i was gonna put some round stickers on there on the side but i had these stars and they were in the color so i decided to use those the back is just the plain card stock here but i am going to put um a piece of paper here and write a sentiment down the back um, a little poem that I have that says um, no matter how you say it a dad is because I do have dad listed on here a couple times I think three times dad daddy and then at the top this is a wood piece it's number one dad that I got from Michael's I think two or three years ago so I just thought that would be cute to add to the top. And the great thing about um, this particular type card 
is that it can be folded up and flattened out like that and you can put it in an envelope and Regina does have an envelope that comes in the card in a box file so um, you could cut that out and put it together now with mine I'd have to enlarge it a little bit because I did add this dad so keep that in mind that when you're adding stuff to the back it does add to the height so you'll have to change your envelope height but when they take it out they just open it back up and voila they have a beautiful card that they can sit on their desk so anyway head on over to the cutting cafe make sure you leave a comment and also visit my blog which is sogoodcrafter.com and you can see some close-ups of my project thank you so much for stopping by and watching and you have a great and very blessed day bye bye